this is Virginia. Welcome to my stamp room. Today we're going to talk about a scenic um, stamp like this one. It's from Penny Black and sometimes when you see stamp like this it's hard to know what you're gonna do. So my advice was uh, divide and conquer and that's what I did with my first one. I split the image into a few sections and stamp individually and then I clear emboss it with the help of Misty. So this is the first take. My second take I decided that it could look great in the nighttime so I made a night nice sky. So here's the night scene with um, well supposedly stars and then I simplify the bottom area and this is my second version. So today we're going to do a watercolor version. First I cut a piece of cardstock from Canson watercolor paper, 140 pounds. And I'm using the smooth side up. And I, I am using my 19 zig markers. Um, you don't really need a lot, although the more the merrier, but in this case I only have 19 of them and I think it should work. So let's start with coloring the first image. Sorry, it has to be on this side. And I'm just going to lightly color it. And this is going to take a few stages to make it work. So patience is the key. And now I'm using a mini mister to mist my ink after I color the first part. So there's a bit of something to your stamp image. It doesn't look like much but that's not panic. I'm just going to keep working on it. And then let's do some tree to get our first image started. Anyway, you get the idea is just work your way up and each time you take a sprig of water and stamp. So I'm going to continue to work on this and next I'm stamping, brushing the tree trunk. Again, spray water. and keep building up. And next I'm using a brighter green for the trees. Okay, and I'm going to spray some more water. It's starting to look like something. So I color some more with these two color here. And I think I need more work for the tree. So I'm just going to continue to do that. So I actually use heat gun to dry it. And I'm going to work some more. I color some more branch with the green and hopefully it will show through and as usual just spray the water repeat and I decided to use distress um, for the top portion this color is light and neutral 
and it will be easiest to do that and I'm gonna wipe off the branch that I can see so it's not all green it still has some wetness so I didn't spray water see it looks a little better already now I'm taking out antique linen why this color because it's light and it's neutral so it should not go wrong and it won't dominate the color too much but it will give some definition to the stamp design now let's hope it looks good I don't do voiceover so what you see is what I'm actually getting and I don't like retake so I think it's getting there to keep it in good contrast I decided that I will use some dark for the step just so it will show the contrast of color okay I hope you like that because we're not turning back okay maybe I'll stamp one more without any ink just take the ink up a little more okay I think that looks good now that the image is dry I'm going to emboss the image and of course leaving the um, stamp in place so it will completely transfer the ink image it will cover what we stamped and I'm going to use clear embossing powder from Ranger to cover the image after the embossing it looks like a postcard really you could stop here or you could continue like I'm doing and so what I'm going to do is take out zig marker and I'm going to do this create the sky color with zig markers let's do the blue first I'm going to spray the water and this piece of acetate is our applicator I'm going to use that to get to the paper to the background so there is our fun part all that work now it seems worthwhile because you get to add color to your sky to the background and you don't have to worry about contaminating the image because it's already embossed and the color is there it's gonna stay there start to look a little like something so yep to me this is the most fun part anything goes and I also like to add more water to it so then it will facilitate the color so you'll move around a little more and if you don't like the color just go and wipe it off I think I like more blue so that's what I'm gonna do now that's gonna be a little more dramatic and you see how the ink work and you just lift it up there I like small spots I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then add more colors to it while the sky is drying I'm going to work on the steps here using gray just to fill up the color a bit but not taking over the image just make it a little as if it's colored there see the water moving 
just going to make it move a little more. I could leave it white too, but I just like to make sure that I have all the base covered. And you know, the steps add so much interest and texture to the design. So this time I'm going to add some pretty color to the sky. Let's do yellow. Cover the base. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see because it's transparency. Oh, I'm going to add it to the ground here. Okay, I add more blue. Let's see. This probably is it because I don't think I should jeopardize what I did earlier. So that just keep it while it's still good. <laughs> Let's put it into a car now. So we're down to the final stages of um, putting the car together. And I have stamped lots of love and make a little nest of strings. Usually I just pull around it and go like this, work around your finger and then try not to mess with it because it has this way of twisting and the best is just work with the thread. Try not to turn it this way or that way and so this is how it is. Okay, we're just gonna have to put it in the car here. Well, I hope you're inspired by this tutorial about this detail stamp and I thank you so much for watching and spending the time with me. Bye for now.